Hey guys and welcome back. So I guess you already know this since you clicked the video, but today we're going to compare the uh, WPL C64-1 with the uh, MN, MN82. Yeah, MN82. So uh, when I featured both of these earlier on my channel, I got a lot of comments on this one, like the, uh, the MN82 is much better. Blah, blah, blah. And vice versa on this one so i thought why not do a proper test and see which one is better so first off looks i guess this is more of a matter of personal opinion i do like the uh, style on the wpl but the mn82 is really nice we got the foldable uh, mirrors and uh, can open the uh, back door on the uh, flatbed as well so got some nice features there You can see you got some nice gay details to both of them. I have however painted these myself. The, that little detail do add a lot. And stickers on the WPL. So I would probably say that the MN82 wins that round. And moving on and then we got the suspension and there's a big difference between the two. So the MN82 got the friction shocks in the front and a combination of friction shocks and leaf spring suspension in the rear. So this is really stiff, barely any flex. So not really ideal if you're going crawling. And the WPL got a four link suspension front and rear. And it's really, really soft as well as really high ground clearance. So you get really, really nice flex on this. like extremely extremely good flex um, might be the best flex i've seen or articulation on any mn and wpl correct me if i'm wrong down in the comments but yeah really good articulation and flex on the wpl but it's really really bouncy with the friction shock uh, they do offer oil fill ones for their models uh, but they come pre-filled with like a closed little cartridge or container with oil they do provide a decent upgrade. I've, I've done a video about these, but uh, not the best shocks on the market, but they are really nice and they are not expensive. So, and super easy to uh, replace. So just pop off the old ones and pop in the new ones. So speaking about suspension, we've got the ground clearance, of course. And there's really no question about which one got the best ground clearance. The WPL got a huge advantage here. Uh, the MN really, yeah, no need to go any deeper on that. We can just have a closer look at the difference between them. And as you can see, when, while we're underneath here, the MN82 got the power switch right in the middle without any sort of protection or guard around it. So in short, it's lowered, but if you're going over some uneven ob obstacles, like some roots or pointy rocks or stuff like that, eventually you will get hung up on the switch, which have happened to me multiple times. And it's a bit annoying when you lose power in the middle of a cool line. So yeah, ground clearance, as well as approach angle, of course, the WPL wins that one. If we were to go a little deeper underneath the bodies on these two, the WPL is powered by a 260 brush motor, while the MN82 is powered by a 280. 
and uh, in my earlier video featuring this the drag brake didn't work but i got a lot of comments saying oh, it does have a drag brake it should have a have a drag brake and whatever so i think just the switch on mine had sort of like got hung up so i pressed it a lot of times i mean a lot i was like and uh, i don't know i got drag brake and it's really good so i have to retract my previous statement about this one because when i first tried this uh, this button didn't do anything but it turns off drag brake or on and off drag brake as well as acts like a uh, uh, electronic speed limit so if you activate the drag brake you get a much lower top speed really nice uh, modulation as well because yeah the M and do got really nice electronics. Uh, both of them got 17 gram servos, free wire servos. The MN advertised sharding time or stated sharding time is about three hours and the WPL one says two hours. And uh, got around 20 to 30 minutes of play time with both of them. Both of them are uh, gets delivered with a 500 milliamp 2S lithium ion. Uh, it's much, not much big, uh, of a difference between them there. Um, the MN got a three wire battery, while the WPL uses four wire batteries on all of their trucks right now. So, about the same. And when it comes to the transmitters, not much to say about them. Both really cheap transmitters. Uh, the MN one got some foam on the steering wheel, though, as well as this little tab to make it easier to drive one handed. Really nice. Got this huge antenna thing that lights up when it turned on. And as previously stated, we got the um, drag brake button right here, and this controls the lights as well as the steering trim. So, really basic, nothing special. And then we got the classic WPL transmitter. Got the drag brake control there, can also control the steering rate right there as well as. Uh, steering trim and this is of course really easy to try one-handed as well because it's so small and it sits really nice in your hand but trying them like this I actually think the M and one feels better but they're both decent transmitters uh, the M and 82 is stated as a 12 a 112 scale truck while the WPL is advertised as a 116 scale, but they do got so similar wheelbase, a bit longer on the MN, similar in width. So when it comes to crawling capabilities, the WPL is better. Uh, for uh, some obvious reasons, we got the better approach angle. As you can see in this footage, we got better articulation as well. However, I do think the MN82 got better modulation, better electronics, a lot quieter as well. just 
work better with the motor and the gearbox if they show them for their truck. And they are pretty similar in, uh, in performance, really. Uh, some places the WPL had better performance and some advantages. And at other places, we, we did get better performance out of the MN because of the lower center of gravity and that the fact that the battery is placed in the front of this truck. The WPL does have the battery placed behind the gearbox, straight over the uh, rear axle, which isn't ideal. While the MN got the battery placed underneath the hood in the front. And while we're talking about the performance, we've got the tires as well. Um, they're not bad on the MN, a bit harder, not as aggressive thread, and uh, also a bit smaller in diameter than the uh, WPL ones, the tires. And the rims, they do look good. So overall, they really fit the truck, in my opinion. The WPL got the hard type ready to run tires as they say because they offer uh, softer ones in the kit versions or if you buy them separately and they got this nice little scale hub cap on their truck as well which is a really nice little feature i li really like that so that's a little plus for the wpl actually when it comes to steering radius the wpl got better steering radius it does however bind when you steer it too much which is a bit annoying, locks up a bit, jumps, and this just a horrible steering radius. No binding though, but it's not good. It's really bad, actually. So yeah, none of them are that good. And the MN truck is claimed to be officially licensed. So we've got the nice Toyota emblem in the front and the text on the rear. So that's a really nice little touch or feature. And when it comes to which one you should buy, it's really hard to say. Uh, both of them are solid entry trucks. I like the electronics better in this one. I like the crawling capabilities better in this one. Tons of upgrades available for both of them. Price is pretty similar, I think. And uh, I know this is super cheap on some places on like AliExpress. And you can find this really cheap as well but if you were to look at like banggood or something i think they're about the same price range and if you were to buy this from the official store you pay a little extra but you're also getting better uh, support uh, awesome quality control and a guarantee almost that it arrives in mint condition i know they've had some issues with some like links and stuff popping off but you can pop them by, right back in there and there's no issues but they do ship them really really well so i recommend buying from the official store if you're getting this one so let me know in the comments which one you prefer and what you think about the video and uh, yeah i'll see you soon